If you want to discover a perfectly preserved 2000 year old Colosseum without setting foot in Italy, visit a town with a rich history of bullfighting that isn't in Spain and have a thoroughly French experience all at the same time, then look no further than the historic city of Nîmes in southern France. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And we're coming to you from Nîmes, France. Welcome to our Nîmes Travel Guide. Nîmes is a charming city in southern France. It has an interesting mixture of cultural influences, which may lead you to ask, is this Spain, Italy or France? Come with us on a journey through this beautiful city, exploring the best things to do and food to eat in Nîmes, France. We'll share plenty of France travel advice to help you plan your next French getaway. Nîmes is a city in the Occitanie region of southern France. It is located halfway between Montpellier and Avignon and is about a half hour train ride from either city. Nicknamed French Rome, this city has a rich history that dates back to the Roman Empire. Throughout the city there are remarkably well preserved buildings and monuments that were built and used by the Romans over 2000 years ago. Behind me is the ancient La Porte Auguste, which is an ancient gateway that was part of the ramparts around the fortified city of Nîmes. It was built in the first century AD and funded by Emperor Augustus. The centerpiece of the city is the Colosseum, known as Reine de Nîmes. The arenas de Nîmes were built in the first century AD. They were styled after the Colosseum in Rome, and I can't believe something like this exists in France. It's so amazing to be able to walk the halls that the gladiators walked almost two millennia ago. So I'm now in the middle of the arena where all the gladiators fought. Below me is the sand. They used to sweep the sand over all of the blood that was spilled so that it wouldn't smell too much. And one thing that's really interesting about the gladiator fights here is that unlike popular understanding, gladiators were actually free men that signed over to a contract to play in the gladiator games. So they weren't slaves, they weren't prisoners, they were actually people that decided to choose this lifestyle. It would have been such an amazing atmosphere here. All the people around in the grandstands, both the rich and the poor of all walks of life. And it was a real melting pot of cultures here as well, apparently. Just a spectacular place to come. And this is one of the highlights of southern France. Wow, the view from the top is spectacular. It's been great coming here on a weekday. As you can see behind me, there's hardly anyone in the stands. You really do have the place pretty much to yourself. and. With the audio guide that comes with your entry, it provides a lot of detail about the history which really takes you back to those times. Now, the arena's de name was 10 euro for entry and that does come with an audio guide included. I think that is definitely worth it because this is such an iconic piece of history and it's so interesting being able to come back to the Roman era but being in France definitely worth it. The views from the top are spectacular and it's just a really interesting place to come. The Arène de Nîmes is a grand building that can be seen from many parts of the city. However, the best views can be had for free from the rooftop of the Museum Romanité. On the rooftop of the Musée, you've got this beautiful rooftop area. So it's right next to the arena. So you can see like that Colosseum building there. You can also see a lot of the church spires around the area. And it's a really great view. If you thought the 2000 year old Arène de Nîmes was ancient, then perhaps you will be impressed by the Tour Magna which dates prior to Roman civilization back to 400 BC. 
We're at Tour Magne. You can come here with the names pass uh, for 10 euro at the moment. You can get an entry to two of the sites around Nîmes and the other one is the arena. So this is a beautiful tower. It's near the, the gardens here in Nîmes and it's in the highest point of the city. From the top of the tower, you can see how beautiful the city of Nîmes is. From this vantage point, you can see the many different buildings, churches, the Colosseum, and even Alpine mountains in the background. One thing to keep in mind is there's a lot of stairs to get up the tower. There's quite a few people struggling. The stairs are narrow and they've been here for centuries, so they are worn in the centre. So be very careful where you step. The other major Roman landmark in name is the Maison Carré. This temple is over 2,000 years old and is the most well-preserved Roman temple in the world. It was closed for renovations when we visited, but it will be open again in summer 2022. Apart from the impressive Roman architecture, there are also many beautiful open spaces to enjoy throughout the city. Our favourite is the Jardin de la Fontaine. We recommend buying one of the many delicious cakes you can find in a French patisserie or a chocolate in a chocolaterie and enjoying them in the gardens. When I saw the chocolate glistening on this black forest cake, I knew this was the one. This looks amazing. It's got the cherry on top and a little biscuit base. Oh my goodness. Mm. so very very good oh man i don't know how i'm going to survive this trip without putting on like a thousand pounds uh like all the patisseries in france have just been so amazing and i think this is my favorite so far this is delicious and it uh the presentation is just a magnificent before euro 10 this is a work of art really i'm just going to say this is perfection all around five out of five buckets for taste five out of five buckets for value i'm so happy that i chose this this has exceeded my expectations don't forget to try out the local specialties when in name most areas in france have regional specialties and we've enjoyed sampling the finest French cuisine as we've traveled through southern France. One must-eat dish of Nîmes is pâté nîmois. We've gone to a butchery in Nîmes and we've got a local specialty which is called pâté nîmois. So it looks like this, so it's a nice little pastry, nicely decorated on the top. It looks like a bit of a volivant, but on the inside you've got either pork or veal or some manner of meat so I'm not sure exactly which one we've got here but I'm gonna find out very shortly it's an interesting taste I initially thought that this was cheese on the inside but I'm pretty sure it's now a meat based pate the pastry on the outside is really nice it's like a uh, I would say like a sausage roll pastry so we brought in the expert Jay, what do you think that is? Yeah, so... Do you think it's, it's meat? Interesting. It's really creamy. And it, yeah, as you said, it kind of, it looks like cheese or, or something like that. I guess, like it kind of maybe tastes like smoked salmon. I think it's nice. Mm. So yeah, if you know exactly what we're eating, please let us know in the comments. Mm. We'd really appreciate that. Whatever it is, Hmm, I think it's good. So I've got another pâté nimois. Let's give this one a try. This is probably pork, and I like this much better. For me, it tastes like a sausage roll, and I love sausage rolls, so yeah, I'm much happier with this version. A day trip to Nîmes can be easily done from nearby cities Montpellier or Avignon. There are also plenty of accommodation options to suit all budgets. We stayed in Nîmes for a couple of days at 20 Campus Nîmes. It is a great budget apart hotel at 40 euro a night and we enjoyed their modern facilities, fast internet, included breakfast on weekdays and convenient location. The hotel is only 5 minutes walk from the train station and is within walking distance to all of the major attractions in Nîmes. We are bucket list travellers. See you next time.